back with Glenn Grayson from Aruma Resources this morning. Glenn, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Thank you for having me. Look, your, uh, your most extensive soil sampling campaign to date now underway at Saltwater. Just tell us a bit more about what you're, uh, what you're looking to achieve, what the objective here is. That's right. Uh, so we've got two project or prospect areas we're targeting. Uh, that's a Sarah project uh, prospect in the uh, upper west hand part of the project. And that's following up um, some soil sampling we did last year that uh, had a 0.4 gram uh, gold in soil. So that's following that up. And with that, there was associated uh, arsenic and a bit of silver as well. So it was a, a good um, anomaly. And then over the other side, the eastern side of the project area at Saltwater Pool itself, where we've had a bit of um, work done using AI and remote sensing work and come up with some um, targets there for rare earths, cobalt, and a few other things, but there's gold there as well. And uh, some prospecting friends recently up there uncovered a nice uh, 40 gram nugget out of the creeks up there. So we knew there was gold in the creeks, um, but up until then they'd been pretty small, sort of match head size, sort of the 0.1 to 1 gram side, size stuff. But when you're pulling a, a bit over an ounce out of the ground mm. or out of the creek, it's a bit more substantial. So uh, we'll cover we'll cover the area for um, a bit closely for gold as well. So saltwater predominantly prospective for, is it gold and rare earths? So it was, we originally pegged it uh, for gold. Um, there is, uh, Dreadnought released a result last year that had uh, 3% antimony, um, which is often associated with, with um, gold. And that have also had 12 grams gold in that sample. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really uh, prospective areas of salt water that have um, got high grade gold, copper, um, rare rares, a bit of uranium in the past as well. So it's a, a it's a 450 square k package of ground that's throwing a bit of everything at us. Tell us more, Glenn, about this hyperspectral study which you're undertaking. Yes, yeah, so we got Southern Geoscience to help us with that, and that was. Um, like I said, it's 450 square kilometres of ground, so we we got them to help us narrow down um, the area to search, and they've they've highlighted a few areas that we're covering with this all program for um, those base metals, so cobalt, cobalt, manganese, um, copper, as well. So it's um we'll see what the soils come up with. And post receipt of the the results from the soil sampling, uh, what would be the next steps for salt water? Uh, it's certainly a, a a drill campaign. Um, so, if they throw up some really nice uh, numbers at us, we'll um, that'll be the plan um, as soon as we can get on the ground with the rig up there. Mm. And as far as Fiery Creek, Glenn, uh, you're currently undertaking some geophysics here. That's right. So we've got two areas we're focusing with a gravity survey, so quite a close space ground gravity survey to to hopefully show some alteration systems um, with some dense rocks that are usually associated with a, an ISA style copper ore body, but um, the Piper project itself, we're also doing an IP survey um, in the very near future as well. Good to get an update. Glenn, thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks, Andrew.